Hi, this is George Love with TSTC. I'm filming today on the Waco campus. Um, I'm showing you today how to properly use a height gauge to scribe a line in a part in preparation for prick punching or um, layouts. Today we have a standard electronic height gauge. First thing I'm going to do is turn it on and make sure it is zeroed. My um, locks are released. If I wanted to scribe a line at one inch up on this part, the way that I would suggest that we do that is to raise it up until we're within about an eighth of an inch of the total. Notice I'm at one inch 69 thousandths and I'm going to lock the top lock. This allows me access to the fine adjustment. I'm going to put my finger on it. I need to go up and down, but I'll, I'll show you as I move up, I can adjust it up in very fine increments. I'm going to put my finger on it, take all the slack out, and I'm going to scroll down until it says 1.000. Then with my finger holding it, I lock the bottom end. It's ready to scribe. At this point, I like to use a clamp on it. If you're very good or if it's a simple operation, you can hold it in by hand, but I prefer um, to clamp things. And then I'm simply going to run my carbide scribe across the bottom. If I wanted to mark a part in the corner that was one inch up and one inch in, at this point, I simply rotate this part. Again, I, I will clamp almost every time. And I don't have to scribe across the whole thing. I can simply scribe my line. As you can see, I have a neat, clean line for my prick punch or my um, standard punch. Or if I were simply doing a layout, I can see where my end mill should stop, uh, where my tap hole should go, uh, a whole series of things. Um, if I were doing a series of one inch lines, I would simply rotate this around at this point and do all those lines before I changed my setup. When I'm done, I wanna make sure that I release my locks, drop it down to the bottom and turn it off. Again, this is George Love. Uh, this is in preparation for multiple classes, MCHN 1300. Uh, 1438, 1454, 2310. Uh, this has been a demonstration on how to use an electronic height gauge to scribe a line into a part that has been dicomed for layout.